Hey guys, it's Connor Klein. Uh, today I'm going to be comparing the 111RX versus the 131R steel uh, weed eaters. Okay, so right off the bat, these are both excellent trimmers, um, but I will say they each have their upsides and their downsides. So most of my, well, uh, both my employees, they will use the 111 and I always use the 131. Um, the 111, it's got plenty of power and I mean, it's, it's got more power than the, the FS90R, which is what I started using um, when I worked for another company. And uh, I mean, it's got plenty of power if you haven't ran a 131. The 131 has 1 1.9 bhp and the 111 has 1 1.4 bhp so it's a 35 percent increase in power which i've noticed and i've been weed eating with this from the last like here and there when my guy ain't using it just so i can make like an accurate video on this but uh like if it's a yard you do every week and nothing's overgrown the 111 has plenty of power i mean it'll get the job done no problem at all and it won't be any faster than the 131 but if you have bi-weekly properties and there's big hillsides that you've got to like mow down with the weed eater or uh, ditches and stuff, um, the 131 is going to be a lot faster. It's going to really, I mean, we don't run guards so I can get the string out farther than it was meant and, uh, you know, really go at it. Um, but where the 111 shines is it's a whole pound lighter. You can get it where it's just the 111R but it weighs the same as the 131. Um, but the weight difference, if the weight difference was here at the motor, then it wouldn't, wouldn't be such a, you know, a big deal. But the 131 carries more of its weight. It's got a solid shaft, whereas the 111 has a hollow shaft. So it's much lighter. Um, and I mean, you're swinging, all your weight that you're swinging is down here in the shaft. So, I mean, when you're just picking it up and holding it in the store, yeah, you may think, oh, it's not that big of a difference. But when you put a whole pound in the shaft that you're swinging back and forth all day long, the 111 is much easier on your back. Whereas, you know, I can almost weed eat one-handed with the 111. It doesn't, it's so light. Whereas the 131, I mean, <laughs> it, uh, it'll wear your back out. But depends if you're going for speed or, I mean, if you're a littler guy, I'd recommend the 111, but if you're, you know, into powerlifting and shit like that, um, then you may, you may like the 131. I mean, I personally like the 131, but some days when I'm back is really hurting, I'm thinking, man, <laughs> maybe the 111 is the way to go. Um, but one of the upsides with the 131, the R shaft versus the RX shaft is on the R shaft, you can add, I bought the, the R shaft so that I could put like a hedge trimmer attachment on the end. This head, you unscrew this bolt here and you can slide on a hedge trimmer attachment or you could uh, slide on like a uh, an edger attachment. I mean, we always just edge with the string so we don't really use that. Um, on these models, which have broke them before, <laughs> but uh, you've got to push in on the choke and then turn it and it always usually fires up first time. I don't ever actually really ever have to prime these things. I just pull them and go. Um, on these models versus some of the older models, it's uh, you gotta push, it's push button stop, which I like better than what was on like the 100 RX. But uh, I don't know, they're both good weed eaters. But if you're trying to make a decision, I mean, you're gonna kind of have to weigh your odds. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope this uh, helps you determine which one you want to get.